How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use NordVPN on your desktop, whether you're on Windows, Mac, um, iOS, or any other device. It's really going to be the same concept, and all of this will apply whichever device you're on. So, for beginning, if you guys are interested in learning more about NordVPN, you'll find a link to the full review in the description down below. That'll give you more of an in depth look into the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. You'll also find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to save up a little bit more uh, on your subscription with NordVPN. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Now, using NordVPN can be as simple as simply, let me just disconnect here, as you can tell, I do have on my IP finder, just to show you guys how you can check that you are connected to the correct IP address. Uh, I was connected to Norway very recently, right here on the recents, as you can tell, and the IP finder says that I am in Norway. Okay, you don't have to uh, necessarily select your own server, you can just hit quick connect and it'll connect you to what the VPN itself thinks is the best uh, for, for you. So it's not necessarily true at all times, but it'll just probably just connect you to the closest server to you, okay? I'm near the European region, so it connected me to Israel. Okay, now let me just go through uh, the application itself and how it works. Now, with regards to using the VPN, it can be as simple, let's just say you zoom into the United States here, and you select a server and you're good to go. That's pretty much it, if you wanna be very simple about it. But I'm pretty sure you wanna learn a little bit more about uh, this VPN, so that's why you're here. Now let me just go ahead and refresh this page and it'll show that I am in New York right now because I'm connected to the New York server, okay? Let's just disconnect and talk about the VPN itself. Now, as you can tell, the intuitive map design makes it very easy to just navigate. And uh, yeah, you have over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. So plenty of locations, no matter where you are in the world. And um, yeah, very, very nice looking UI. And I really do appreciate it. Now, right here, you can obviously just search. So let's say I want to connect to Dallas, the Dallas server, I can just search it and I can get there right away. Uh, if you want to browse through these servers yourself, you can go to, let's say, um, again, Dallas. And you can go through every single Dallas server uh, that is available yourself. So and you can tell the load here by the percentage. Uh, you know, generally speaking, the closer the server and the less load, the better the connection. So keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, of course you have specialty servers such as double VPN, which will write your connection through two servers rather than one for double the security. Uh, so yeah, this can be very useful if security is uh, your top concern. Uh, Onion over VPN will give you the anonymity of the Tor browser as well as the anonymity and encryption that comes with Nord uh, with a VPN uh, through these servers. So, you know, for you Tor browsers out there, peer to peer servers are peer to peer specialty servers. So, most of you uh, people interested in torrenting will um, kind of use these. All the servers support peer to peer, though. So, you don't really need to use these servers. Okay. You have an ad blocker, which is called CyberSec here. Absolutely no reason to turn this off. You can just keep this on at all times. It doesn't really block all the server, uh, all the ads, but uh, combined with a an ad blocker on your browser, it actually works very well. Uh, you have a couple of options here: Open VPN to Open VPN options. Uh, UDP will definitely be the faster. TCP focuses more on security rather than the speed, and NordLynx will be the best you want to use at all times. NordLynx, by the way, makes NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the industry today. The kill switch will disable your internet connection when the VPN is disconnected unexpectedly. And this will make sure that you're only connected to the internet when you're secured by the VPN. Uh, otherwise, it will disconnect your internet connection. Okay, and this will obviously prevent all kinds of leaks, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country and you never want to uh, let your ISP know what you're doing online. Uh, the app kill switch for close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly rather than disconnecting your entire connection. So that's another option. It's, it's kind of a bonus kill switch if you don't want to use the actual kill switch or you can use both if you'd like. Split
split tiling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So for example, I can select, um, okay, so let's browse apps here. Let's say I want to route my, or uh, route my entire connection, okay, through the VPN, except for Steam, for example, and you can do it the other way around. So I'll go to Steam, all right? I'll go to the uh, executable right here and there you go. Now my entire connection, when I turn on the VPN, my entire connection will be connected uh, to the VPN except for Steam. So as it says here, disable VPN for selected apps. And you can do it the other way around. So this is a very useful feature, especially if you don't want your entire connection to be routed through the VPN or specific applications for that matter. In advanced, you'll have custom DNS, which will give you a very easy way to change your DNS. Um, it's a hassle-free way to change your DNS, and this can be useful for a variety of reasons, you know, such as setting up. Uh, you can you can set up a custom DNS on your router. You know, you can connect NordVPN, uh, install NordVPN rather on your router and uh, set up a custom DNS uh, for, let's say, parental control reasons. If you have kids in the house and you want to regulate your internet. Uh, and obfuscated servers, which will help you bypass uh, the Great Firewall of China, for example, if you are in China. And that's pretty much it when it comes to NordVPN. It's a very simple application. Uh, and, and by the way, if you're looking for dedicated IP servers, you want to go to uh, the protocols here, switch to OpenVPN. And this will give you dedicated IP. And these are servers that will always give you the same IP address no matter how many times you return to them. So United Kingdom 813 will always give you the same IP address. Whereas with the regular servers, if you connect to the regular servers, every time you connect to one of these servers, it will give you a different IP address. Hence, it's called a dynamic IP instead of a dedicated or static IP. Um, now, if you don't need that, I just recommend going back to NordLynx because it is definitely the best performing protocol. Let's say you're trying to unblock, mm, I don't know, maybe the whatever Netflix library or something, maybe some kind of Italian streaming service that, trying to, that you're trying to unblock, just go to it, click the server itself. And once you're connected, you are good to go. You will be able to access whatever, you know, your entire connection will treat you as if you are in Italy. Uh, and uh, to prove that, you can just go to any IP finder, hit refresh, and now I'm in Italy. It's as simple as that. Again, if you guys are interested in learning more about uh, NordVPN, you'll find a link for the full review down below. You'll also find links to pricing and discounts, which will give you a little bit of an extra discount. And keep in mind that all of NordVPN's plans are covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you'll have the 24-7 live chat support to help you with everything you need. Uh, and yeah, it's a very uh, hassle-free process. So you'll be refunded within three to four business days in the unlikely event that you are not satisfied with NordVPN. So comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.